Now, Evidence Act, some of the basic principles of Evidence Act, we shall continue in the next class also. Uh, Evidence Act contains how many sections? Question and answer type. Okay. No question of lecturing or other bit would be go. How many sections, sir? Is Tama? Doubt a little either. In Anantapa? Is section? No, Rabat Yolo. Now, what is this evidence act? What is this evidence act? What it regulates? What it deals with? Evidence, it is a Latin word uh, derived. It means evider, E V D E or E, evider. Okay. Evider means to ascertain clearly. Evidence the dictionary meaning to ascertain clearly. To prove clearly, to ascertain clearly or prove clearly. Now, evidence in uh, civil cases is different from evidence in criminal cases. Now, Evidence Act is the aggregate of rules and regulations. Evidence Act is the aggregate of rules and regulations regulating regulating admissibility relevancy sufficiency of evidence it regulates admissibility of evidence relevancy of evidence sufficiency of evidence and if it is sufficient evidence what sanctity to be attached to the admitted testimony, to the admitted testimony. Now, that is why I said, Evidence Act, it contains rules and principles, it contains rules and principles regulating admissibility of evidence, relevancy of evidence. Sufficiency of evidence and also it also regulates what sanctity to be attached to the admitted testimony of a witness. Admissibility, relevancy, sufficiency, if it is sufficient, what sanctity to be attached to the admitted testimony of a witness. Because all admissible evidence is not relevant. All admissible evidence is not relevant. What is important is quality of evidence, not the quantity of evidence. What is important is quality of evidence, not the quantity of evidence. Therefore, always evidence must be confined to Always evidence must be confined to, yes sir, excellent. Always evidence must be confined to fact in issue. Always evidence must be confined to fact in controversy. Always evidence must be confined to fact that is to be proved. So therefore, It signifies, evidence act signifies what testimony of a witness to be accepted, what testimony of a witness 
to be rejected and what is the sanctity to be attached to the accepted testimony more very important idano idalla it signifies what testimony of a witness to be accepted what is to be rejected what is the value attached to the accepted testimony okay therefore it contains rules and principles regulating admissibility relevancy weight sufficiency of evidence it signifies what testimony to be attached i'm sorry accepted what is to be rejected and what is the sanctity attached to the accepted testimony of a witness this is very simple now your entire evidence act your entire evidence act has to be divided into three stages One sixty-seven section. इधर देंगे. Three parts यहाँ तरह डिस मरा दोन ताला. It is divided. मूरो विभाग के गले नहीं वधन आता मर कोम बोधु. Any idea? Very simple. Huh? Yes, sir. very good very good but on a proof and manner of proof very good. last time attend agidare ant kanate avaru now entire evidence act is divided into three parts section 1 to 55 kinds of facts kinds of facts to be proved section 1 to 55 kinds of facts to be proved now section 56 to 117 what proof is to be given to prove those facts first part kinds of facts second part section 56 to 117 what proof is to be given to prove those facts now 118 to 167 burden of proof and manner of proving burden of proof and manner of proving so therefore section 1 to 55 kinds of facts section 56 to 117 kinds of proof 118 to 167 burden of proving and manner of proving burden of proof and manner of proving and the burden of proof from sometimes in civil cases it may shift always burden of proof lies on the plaintiff sometimes on the defendant but in uh, criminal cases always rests on prosecution sometimes it may also shift okay this is the question now easy agartha maadkobeku antandre three parts kinds of facts 1 to 55 kinds of proof 56 to 117 manner of proving and burden of proof 117 to 167 very simple very simple very simple anmantappa artha aitala so this is one thing now what is the fundamental principles of evidence act what are the fundamental principles of evidence act fundamental principles ma yes madam no louder okay yes 
three fundamental principles. Number one, facts must be confined, I am sorry, evidence must be confined to fact in issue only. Evidence must be confined to facts in issue only. That is fundamental basic principle. Evidence must be confined to fact in issue only. You cannot travel beyond fact in issue. Number two, hearsay evidence is not admissible. Hearsay evidence is not admissible. Number three, in all cases, best evidence must be given. First one is, evidence must be confined to fact in issue. Second one, hearsay evidence is not admissible. Third one, in all cases, best evidence must be given. Best evidence. Yen best evidence, Andre? Okay, good, very good. Enema? Very good. Very good. <laughs> best evidence is one best evidence is one which has got maximum truth value. Best evidence is one which has got maximum truth value. Adal Nijam Shahir Bekonta. Best evidence and reno. Best evidence and reno pa. Adal admissibility agir beko. Relevancy agir beko. Maximum truth value adal ir beko. Andre, the evidence must be relevant to prove the fact in issue. Because that is why I said all admissible evidence is not relevant. Is not relevant. That is why this law regulates admissibility and relevancy. Both will go hand in hand. Admissibility and relevancy. There may be under documents produced by you. Not even a single document is relevant to prove the fact in issue. I can say that I have a hundred documents. I Title proof, madam. Kagi lam thandre. All revenue documents. Title length proof agate. All our revenue documents. How to prove title? It may you can prove your possession. That's all. Title you cannot prove. So revenue document are not relevant to prove the title. Not relevant to prove the title. Atta itala. It may be relevant to prove your possession. To prove your possession. Adhanani Thakamu, the recently judgment of uh, Sri Harish Kumar. No doubt, revenue documents are not the documents of title. But the question is, if the documents are unchallenged nearly for 50 years, revenue document now 60 years question madle illa. You are in possession. Therefore, court can presume. That possession follows title. In and Nanatra, the only document I can produce to prove my title is revenue document. It is a decided law that revenue documents are not the documents of title. But these revenue documents are not questioned nearly for another five to six decades. Unchallenged revenue documents. Possession follows. Possession follows title. You cannot dispute my legal possession. Legal possession. Alva, on the ground that you have no title, prayer cannot be rejected. On the ground that you have no title, prayer cannot be rejected. And not in Esto case, the district judges. So, suit for injunction. No? What is the issue? Very good. What is the issue, madam? Suit for injunction? Yeah, you know? Lawful beka? Lawful ir beka? Oh, very good. What, in, in a suit for bear injunction, madam, what is the issue? You are seeking injunction based on possession. Whether you are in wrongful possession or rightful possession, 
if you are found to be in possession, if there is interference by the other side, injunction has to be granted. Ilva sir, what about that? Nam judge Sangala ille. All district judges commit same mistake. Don't new commit more badi David to district judge Sagaro. On possession, you know the case. Yen tor si dana. It is a suit arising a bare injunction. Sometimes you have seen in issues, issues for a murder, murder ga, issues for a murder. Judge judge so. Based on pleading, so alien will enter and thunder whether the plaintiff has proved that he is in possession of the suit schedule property and the date of suit are prior to it. You know, whether the plaintiff has proved that he is in possession of the suit schedule property on the date of suit are prior to it. In non tara issue, whether the plaintiff has proved his lawful possession. Yer tara issue, you got in sir. Yer tara issue, ma. First one. Alien madro, our enu use madila. Whether the plaintiff is in possession of the suit schedule property and the date of suit are prior to it. The word lawful is deleted. In second type of issue, whether the plaintiff has proved that he is in lawful possession and enjoyment of the suit schedule property and the date of suit are prior to it. Ega. In first case, either you may be in wrongful possession or rightful possession if your possession is established. Okay. You are entitled for injunction. Ilwa? Ilwa? Title beka, title note beka na wo. Now title, now declaration kheli la madam. Now injunction kheli taidi ni. Now title kheli di na, illa. Mathe, issue frame maar doru niwo, court noro. Yen anta, whether you are in lawful possession. Aga yen maar beko, you cannot see lawful title. Court has to see lawful possession from the document produced by the party, plaintiff. Lawful possession under sale deed, oh. no, don't confuse. Lawful possession under whether legal documents are produced before the court to show that he is in lawful possession under. Lawful possession under right law. La sale deed produced under beko, gift deed produced under beko. You know, you know, issue document produced under beko. Under order that. No, that is not the scope of appreciation of evidence. Because you must see the prayer first, and based on pleadings, court will definitely frame issues. Adi ke issues maar daga, one must be very alert. One must be very very alert, and judges are committing mistake. Injunction suta, no da ma injunction suta issue frame issues so draft maar bolma antar. No di di rasar niwa, na no di di. Ista sare sare adu issues posta gide antar. No yena yena do injunction suta. Yes, ah, no, no, ma. Ado injunction suit do issues frame, issues type mana boleh entel. But nonsense, you know. Ido agta ide, anggak bad. Facts ni worth beko. Even a trespasser is entitled for injunction. Ilwa sir, is entitled for injunction. Even the lease deed is expired. The tenant who is in unauthorized possession is entitled for injunction. Then, how can you say lawful possession? Anmantapa? Then, Jaga Kelsa might be terrible. No. Although, it is not a correct approach of law, correct approach to the uh, case. Are no baya? You know? Baya. Injection could put a Yenago Bratan, the Yenagatin. Eh, no agadi. Eh, no agadi. Dairagi. Let us assume, madam, there is a Supreme Court judgment. There is a Supreme Court judgment. No. Even Matira, judgment out of the Tankurin and Badabutin in Tira. Oda Yeltira Ilva, Majajagi. Yeltir Tane. Tankutri out of the Norbutan judgment Baritinenta. Question is this. Now, let us assume one example. Land Acquisition Act, New Land Acquisition Act. Primary notification 4 1, old, old act only. Primary notification 4 1. Final notification 6 1. Urgent class, 17 1 class invoke murder. Urgent land is required for public purpose. Okay, 4 1 is issued. Final notification has to be issued within 2 years. Final declaration has to be issued within 2 years. Now, in one Supreme, one Supreme Court judgment, it says there is no limitation to issue final declaration. At any time you can issue on Tandro. At any time you can issue on the BDA matter, recent judgment. 
statute states that final notification has to be issued within one year from the date of issue of preliminary notification. It is a constitutional mandate. Now, Supreme Court says in one judgment, no, 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 when your preliminary notification is issued, possession has been taken, state is the owner, you issue final notification at any point of time, delay will not come in the way of taking another you know, uh, issue for issue of uh, declaration, uh, final declaration. This is judgment. Can you follow it? District Judge Jagani, follow Matira? Illa, sir, Supreme Court judgment, follow Matira? In, sir? Follow Matira? Binding precedent is one which is passed in accordance with law, even Supreme Court judgment for that matter. Binding precedent is one which has been rendered, the binding decision is one which has been rendered by following the provision of law. Only provision of law was, has been ignored, judgment has been passed. Again, Martira, Supreme Court judgment is our court, our blind dog has been followed, Martira. Marbeka. Impossible? No. Therefore, facts and circumstances of the case has, to, case has to be ascertained. What is the law applicable to the case that has to be ascertained? While framing issues also, judges must be very careful. What is the prayer? What is the prayer? What is the pleading? And at the time of framing issues, you cannot go beyond pleading. You cannot go pre and pleading. That is why Order 14, Rule 5, Amendment of Issues, Rectification of Issues, Yalla, you mad Allah. If the court is in a wrong track, it is your duty to bring it, bring the court in a right track. Another one only. Nam kalsa na umarbeko. Ilwa. So therefore, evidence, andre, proof facts, proof of facts manner of proving. Facts, proof of facts, manner of proving. Entire evidence act is tenet. Facts, proof of facts, manner of proving. 1 to 55, 56 to 117, 118 to 167. Basic principles of evidence act. Evidence must be confined to fact in issue. Here's evidence is not admissible. Always Best evidence has to be given in all cases. Best evidence is one which has got maximum truth value. Ata ita, very simple, very simple. Now, how many types of evidence? On the end of the evidence, types of evidence. Yerda. Ah, very good. Now, direct, circumstantial, real, hearsay, oral, documentary, primary, secondary, conclusive. Is Gota Yargadra? Is the evidence there? One though direct evidence, circumstantial evidence, real evidence, not an ayan arthanta, real evidence, hearsay evidence, oral evidence, documentary evidence, ah, primary evidence, secondary evidence, conclusive evidence. Nimge iga direct evidence and reno. Testimony of a witness is original documents. Okay. Testimony of a witness is inferred from the original documents that is direct evidence. Although in criminal cases also, eyewitness is the direct evidence. Now, real evidence, Andre, you know? circumstantial evidence, Andre, you know, go there. Evidence may be inferred from the chain of circumstances. Okay. Events. Real evidence, Andre. Real. Actually, 
ಏನಮ್ಮ ರಿಯಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಮೋಟರ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಟು ಅಸರ್ಟೈನ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ಇಂಜೂರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಂಜೂರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಪಿಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಅವರೊಂದು ಕಾಲ್ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕತ್ತ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಮುರಿದೋಗಿದೆ ಅವ್ರು ಬಂದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಕೋರ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಏನದು ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಈಗ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಪಿಟೇಟೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಜುಡಿಷಿಯಲ್ ನೋಟೀಸ್ ಇಲ್ವಾ ಅನ್ನೋಂತಪ್ಪ ಯಾರೋ ಒಬ್ಬರನ್ನ ತಂದು ನಿಲ್ಲಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಆಂಬಿಗ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವನು ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಮುಂದೆ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಕಾಲ್ ಕಟ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿದೆ ಅವನು ಡ್ರೈವರು ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಸಿ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ಈಗ ಅವನು ಬಸ್ ನಡ್ಸೋಕ್ಕಾಗತ್ತಾ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಈಗ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಏನದು ಎ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇನೋ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕಪ್ಪಿಗೆ ಎಸ್ ಮಚ್ಚೆ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಅಂದರೆ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಡಿ ಬಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಅದು ರಿಯಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೇನೋ ಒಂದು ಹೊರಡಿದೆ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನಮ್ಮ ಹಂಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಎ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಎ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಲಾಟ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಅರ್ಥಾಯ್ತಾ ಅರ್ಥಾಯ್ತಾ ಸರ್ ಎ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಸಿ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇನೆಂಟ್ whether evidence of b based on evidence of b order of conviction can be passed why it is a second hand information adu hearsay evidence that is hearsay evidence bitpudi namge ke namge ke actually uh, a informed b that uh, c killed d anta that the c killed d alli yaru there is no direct evidence to the incident here say second hand evidence alwa therefore uh, here say one evidence is one of the you know, the types of evidence next documentary evidence documentary evidence alli eradu vida you know primary ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಓರಲ್ 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 ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ವಿಧ ಓರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಓರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ವೆದರ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಓರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಟೆಡ್ ವೆದರ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಓರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದಾ ಸರ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಬೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ಓರಲ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್
There was a oral partition, sir. And sir, you are sir. Oral partition. The property has been divided orally in between the parties. Anta oral partition. Can you disbelieve it? Are you going to get a document? You know? You have oral partition. Just it is an oral partition. You know, let us assume. At the time of marriage, father has orally gifted Sridhana on property control. Magalage. End document execute Monday. There is no conveyance deed. Just Arshna Kumant Kotar line Maklege. Our end Marbutro on the property in a gift I could be true. Alle. No registered document. But he has informed the same to the municipality. Municipal corporation ke inform Madhuru. Nano, Nana Maglege, even thirteen to forty site to Arshna Kumachi could be the name. It is reported to municipal, municipal corporation. Municipal corporation, based on his representation, acted upon and entered the name of the daughter in the property extract. Okay, it was not disputed. It was not disputed by other members of the family. Again, what are you Registered document, Beka. Registered document, Beka. Ah, so therefore, oral partition. Subsequently, it was mutated, same was mutated in the revenue records. Public documents are existing to prove the oral partition. Your case is there was a oral partition. Based on oral partition, revenue documents are affected. Mutation has been carried out. Parties are residing separately. Property has been identified. 30 years, settled position. That is why in para 127 of the Vinit Sharma case, or any other Vinit Sharma case only, no doubt, section 6, only for the purpose of deciding the uh, daughter as a co-personer, or any other alien thandre, no doubt, court has to strictly view oral partition or unregistered partition deeds. But question is, you cannot ipso facto reject the same. When public documents are existing, to prove that oral transaction. Hello, sir. Therefore, oral evidence is admissible. Oral evidence is admissible. Public documents. Yeah, no public document. Your oral partition improve my theory, sir. I have got better. 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 This marriage certificate, marriage registration, is one thing. Mother, little do, Sapta padi thodi re. Alwa, this adoption, 